Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Jay Jabberelli of Jabberelli.com. Just a bunch of referral links. Today I'm talking about a comparative difference in interest earned. I've been somewhat privy to the stock market for about 20 years. Wasn't always participating in it. But in the last 10 years I've definitely become a dividends investor. And to make the distinction between a dividends and probably most other people who even think about it, assuming they get the right information in the first place, uh, a lot of people think stock price going up, that's what's important. You know, when price goes up, you make more money. Well, you don't actually make money, it's just the value of your portfolio increases. What I'm concerned about is interest earned. Um, you know, like putting your money in the bank <laughs> when it used to pay something. I don't know if everybody throughout the world that watches my videos knows about that and that maybe it doesn't work the same way everywhere but in the United States at least you're expected to earn a certain amount of money off of the money that you loan somebody else like the bank banks don't work that way anymore especially with this stuff that's been going on lately and disease stuff you know what I'm talking about I'm sure if you're watching this recently but for those in the future who watch this a year plus from now it's really it's annoying right now I have no idea what the future is going to look like from that standpoint but what I am hoping for is to earn interest on the money that I put in an account. So I have, uh, as you can see here, a certain amount of money in my account and I am earning interest per this statement right here. Now I've had a certain amount of money, I think I had like 25 US dollars in the account, so the total interest earned wasn't very much. But as the last few days, I put in a lot more money, put about, a, you know, 175, almost $185 US dollars in to this account. And you can see that I have, you know, how much of where it's split up. So I've got a lot of this Gemini USD, which is a coin that follows the uh, United States dollar. I've got, you know, <clears throat> a few, about half, half a light coin, a tiny amount of ETH because I used to have more in ETH and I moved it back here to Bitcoin. So roughly 70 roughly 100 roughly 25 and almost nothing in ETH but that adds up to at least current prices 192.91 now in the last very few days let's say two or three days I've earned 10 cents interest and that won't be paid out to me until uh, the end of the month basically it's May now so the end of May early June they'll pay me out whatever interest I earn the rate I'm going I should with the amount of money I have in there right now get about um, like two or three dollars it's not very much but not very much compared to how much I'm, I'm the interest rates on Bitcoin currently is six percent GSD is eight point six percent ETH is like four four point five and I think Litecoin was three point eight they're much better than going interest rates available currently in the US market since the changes that the federal um, you know the national government uh, implemented interest rates have dropped in into the bottom of the bottom just they're on the ground now I mean nothing I haven't seen a single interest rate available that was greater than half a percent and this company BlockFi will give you 8.6 percent on a value that basically follows the US dollar that's incredible that's absolutely insanely high it's great but it's 8.6 percent annually and I think that's the point I want to make here as I'm going to compare two other softwares. So let's say I had this was a tool, total of 200. I'm going to round it instead of taking the, my actual number. 200 times 8.6.6, 6, which is basically this. So if I had 200 US dollars in this, in, it's of course, it's just the dollar amount value equal in Bitcoin. Let's or whatever coin I'm using. I'm, I'm using GSUD as the example, which is supposed to be directly equal to, as I said before. So I'm assuming it is. 200 GUSD, not USD, at 8.6% nets 17.2 GUSD, which can, of course, be translated back to USD. So what is that per month? Oops, 17.2 divided by 12, about a buck 50, dollar, dollar and a half. What's that per day? Averaged out about five cents per day, or one twentieth of a dollar per day. You can see the number on the screen. 
So, in a year, 12 months, I think you guys all know what a year is, I can make $17. Now, it's it's cumulative or what's called compound, so it'll actually be more than $17. So, I'll make um, 200 plus 1.43, right? Now, we take, on the next month, it'll be on this amount. Um, what is that? I don't, it, it'll be... 8.6% divided by it. I'm not going to go into the math. The point is, it won't it won't be 7 point It'll be slightly more. It'll probably be half a percent more than that actual value. Maybe 2% more or something. But nevertheless, the point is, it's not a lot. It's actually pretty consistent, and that's what BlockFi is mimicking is the concept available in traditional banking systems. But they're paying a lot more money on it because, for whatever reason, they can make more money on their on their coin so they can pay more to their customers. Now, this is just one form um, that I want to talk about. What I really want to talk about is over here. Uh, yeah, this is library. This I'll talk about that later. There are these two different companies, Passive.Expert. That's literally their website up here. You can see Passive.Expert. And Finalmente, or FinalmenteGlobal.com. Um, Passive Expert. Uh, is a little bit easier, well, I don't know if it's easier to deal with. It's more simplified, I think, is really what it comes down to. Uh, you buy ad packs, <coughs> and those ad packs pay a certain amount of money. On average, I believe the ad packs pay uh, something around, somewhere between half a percent and one percent per day. So the way that would work out, and, and they have a limit, you can only go up to 25 percent above the original investment. So let's say you start with 10, um, and you do 1.75%, per, I think it typically averages out to that. So let's say we start with $10, um, and we add 0.75%, that comes out to a dollar and seven cents. And remember, this is all in crypto, it's just the US dollar equivalent. Um, it's not GOSD, I don't, I'm not trying to mince words with this, but, and then let's say, this is daily, so you get 0.75% of whatever you invest every day. Um, add 0.75%. So the next day, you have 15 cents. And it, it'll continue to go until it's reached 25% of the original invested value, which typically takes 30 days. So with this company, you can get, um, let's say we start with 10, and we're gonna add 25, it'll be more than that, but you know, if it's compounded, Going to get 12.5 after 30 days. So let's say you went higher. Let's say you went with um, $100. Well, then that would net you $25, right? R roughly, it'll actually be slightly more than that. Oops, not times. Um, 100 plus 25% equals $125. Um, it'll, like I said, it'll be slightly higher than that, effectively, but they stop you at 25%. So you maybe you'll get there in 29 days or 28 days. But the point is, this company pays 25% monthly. All right, let me compare that to what the other one was. The GUSD was paying 8.6% 8 .6 yearly, which is effectively 0.7% per month. This company's doing 25% per month. Okay, that's 25 divided by 0.71. 17 times as much in a year. Now, Passive Expert hasn't been around very long, like three months. Who's to know if they'll be along in six months? But their business model, which appears to be legitimate, is ridiculously high. They're paying so much more interest in such much a shorter amount of time. So what would that equivalent be? If you were to do that, it would be 25 times 12, three. 100%, not 8.6%, 300%. Well, what would that actually be in a year? If you put it in, a, let's say, $100 plus 300%, plus $400. So on $100, you can make $400. Okay, so this is one example. And the final example here is uh, Fundamental Global, which comes kind of close to the same thing. It's a very different model, um, but it's sort of the same concept they'll pay you 8% per week uh, on whatever money you invest with them. And they have different plans. So let's look at the plans they have. There's one that makes no earnings. It's just a, an investment concept. 
here's one that does uh, it's a it runs for a day and it pays up to one uh, percent per day similar to uh, how passive expert pays you although this is slightly more uh, they were paying between half a percent and one percent daily this company pays a little over one percent daily or this plan rather this plan pays seven percent per week it's basically still one percent a day uh, here slightly more than one percent a day and this one becomes a little more complex because it takes two weeks to do the same thing what the number if you if you let me just add it up for you so you see the difference um, 57.85 times 2 so 15 percent per per uh, two weeks right so if you divide that by let's say you know, let's take the total amount 15.7 uh, divided by 14 still about one percent a day <coughs> And then this is the same thing here for 33.85. If you multiply that, you get a slightly more amount. Let's let's just do the numbers so you see it. I don't wanna uh, sound confusing to anyone. 33.85 times four. So that's 35, right? It, if you minus 100, it's that divided by 30, basically 1%. So the, the end game with most of these companies like Finamente and Passive.Expert as well, um, there's other companies, these are just two examples, are roughly paying 1% per day um, interest on whatever amount of money you put in. And, and it varies slightly, like I said, um, if you're gonna be going with um, these larger amounts of money for these larger plans, they're gonna give you just a tiny bit more amount um, than the 1% that something like per, um, Passive Expert is, playing, is paying. But the, the unique distinction is it's a it's a more of a daily plan payment than an annual plan payment even though I, I was saying BlockFi pays you a percentage but it, it, it pays out every month it just shows the accrual every day this this company does the same thing they show the accrual every day um, but they're paying roughly 20 times as much um, and yes it is Bitcoin but as you can tell like banks are paying less than a percentage annually BlockFi is paying 8.6 percent annually and effectively, these other two companies are paying 400% annually. Um, I, if, as far as I can tell, it's ad-based. I don't know what they're doing or what the, the plan is. Some of them are, are investment-based. But um, the the end game really comes down to uh, risk, which I really haven't made a point about until now. But um, what I originally got into this discussion about, which I wanted to talk about um, with this, was... The withdrawal process from BlockFi, and I won't get into it. Right now. I don't make this video this video last forever, but um, the withdrawal process of BlockFi is uh, about 24 hours. They're trying to make sure nothing funny is going on. But the withdrawal process with um, Finalmente and Passive Expert, Finalmente doesn't really let you take your money out uh, immediately. It takes about a week. Um, Passive Expert also has a minimum amount of money that you can use to cash out, so you have to ten ten dollars at least. Uh, in Bitcoin, um, and then you have to give them some time, so you can still get the money out. But um, the key here overall is the differences in traditional banking versus cryptocurrencies versus these other kind of newer concepts that are just just popping up. Um, the risk with the newer concepts very very high. Yes, you can earn one percent per day versus you know almost nothing um, at the other more traditional methods. So really comes down to risk if you're you know I, I think everybody said this and maybe it's not a, a maxim everyone's familiar with if you are planning to play in the market only put up the money you're willing to lose so if you're willing to lose a hundred dollars US dollars or whatever you know the currency you're used to using in your in your country um, only play with the money that you're willing to literally throw away if you're cool with throwing a hundred bucks away play with that much money. If you're cool with playing $1,000 away, play with that much. Don't play with your savings. <laughs> if you've got, you know, 500 saved or 10,000 saved, don't play with that money. Even though you know you have it, don't play with it. Uh, only use the money that you're willing to, like, the money you would be willing to gamble on. That's what you use this with. So, anyways, I just wanted to let everybody know that there are much, much, much greater ways of making money, preferably with money you're willing to play with. So that's all for now, but um, I will probably come up with another video reviewing more fully the ideas of Passive Expert, Fanamenti, and other programs like that. Um, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.